everyone to the first episode of Kelly's Corner. My guest today is Emma Cachera, um, a senior here at Gibbon High School. Welcome, Emma, and thank you for being willing to sit down and answer the tough questions. Um, since this is the first ep uh, ever Kelly's Corner interview, let's get the easy questions out of the way. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and, and something interesting that no one would know about you? Um, I'm a senior here at Gibbon. I've gone here my whole life, and Something interesting about me is that um, my brother spread a rumor around school that I pooped in the bathtub when I was 12. It's not true. Wow, 12. <laughs> yeah. That is a definitely an interesting thing mm -hmm. to know about you. Um, y you know, you're heavily involved in activities throughout the school year. Tell us a little bit about the activities that you participate in and maybe what your favorite one is and why. Um, I do volleyball, basketball, track, and I did baseball the past couple years. And my favorite would be track because it's so competitive and it's an individual sport. Did you say baseball? Mm hmm Nice. Um, now, it's rumored that you'll be attending the University of Washington to focus on a degree in biology, um, more specifically focusing on picking up stray ants and placing them in a jar. Um, what, that's kind of an interesting career choice. What, why did you choose that? You know, why did you want to be an ant collector? That's not really true. I don't know where you got that. I don't mm. think you research your questions very well if you no. say that. But. Okay. Well, I may have been wrong on that one. Mm. That's, that's my bad. Um, so maybe give us a little idea of what you're thinking. Um, I'm going to go to college to get a degree in biology or pre-med and hopefully run track. Oh, so the biology piece was right. That was pretty Are close. You yeah. You sure? Stray ants? Mm -hmm. I heard it's a hot topic right now. You know, now that we look at it, the question that everybody's dying to ask. If Mr. Stahl and Mr. Montgomery to were to race down the hallway, who do you believe would win and why? It'd be Mr. Montgomery because Mr. Montgomery was fast in high school and Mr. Saul was just a lame cross-country runner. He didn't do anything, oh, so. Yeah, that, eh, that is a valid point. I'm yeah. not sure I would tell him that, and maybe we won't tell him we're doing this interview. We will. I, I think I would take Mr. Montgomery, too, just because of youth. Oh, wait, mm -hmm. they're about the same age. I don't, I'd still take Mr. Montgomery. Yeah. Um, and it's no secret that I'm the greatest principal of all time. In fact, there was a quote in the boys' bathroom stall that reads, and I, I'm reading this. Um, actually, I probably better par paraphrase a little bit. Mr. Kelly is an amazing principal, and I hope he never leaves. Um, it's a very similar quote. You can kind of see it there. So what are, what are your thoughts about me being the greatest principal of all time? I know who wrote that quote, and that's not what they said. Let me just, no. Yeah. That's not what it said. Um, I think it is. Uh, well, tomato, potato. Yeah. You know, moving on. Now, what's one thing that you're going to miss about giving public schools when you leave? Um, I built some pretty good relationships with my teachers and peers, so I'm going to miss the people the most when I leave. And we'll miss you too. You've done a lot of great things here. Uh, I want to end each interview with one final question. Um, of all the teachers in our school, which ones motivated you or pushed you the most to be the best that you can be? I have to say Mr. Fanger because he only pushes us in the weight room too, but also in life he pushes us to make good choices and be a good person. Awesome. Well, thank you, Emma, very much for, for being my first victim of uh, senior interviews on Kelly's Corner. Um, with that said, we'll see all of you next week on Kelly's Corner.